we would sleep together every now and then and he would pay for X, Y, and Z that I needed. That's just for today, that's the down payment. I just kind of fell into this and I was okay with it because he would slip me a hundred dollar bill after I left. Because you're talking to guys on the internet that want to pay you money to have sex with you or spend time with you or get pictures of you and that's kind of, I mean, no matter how empowered you are, a little bit scary and a little degrading. My name is May, I'm a college student. I'm a little shy, I'm just trying to get out there. Um, this is my first time. Trying this? Yeah, yeah, this is my, this is my first time trying this. Let's have fun. Straight shooter looking for a friendly target. Ew. Looking for the positive companion. Breaking free from the status quo. Single baseball dad and surgeon. He is net worth 10 million and his annual income 1 million. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Attract profile boost. What does that mean? A activate the, it's a boost. So for being a student, I guess they'll boost your account. So, what so not only are they giving you the, oh. like you get discount, but they'll boost your account. Yeah. And when you activate it, your profile is featured across the site and you get the attention of far more sugar daddies and mommies. Your attract boost can be activated by clicking the button. Push the button. Push the button. That's when I got my first like real arrangement and we hit it off pretty well. Um, as much as a 19 year old and like a 55 year old could hit it off. <laughs> but anyways, um, so we kept talking and soon after that, like we were just like text like throughout the day and then I'd say, I'm hungry, and he'd come pick me up and take me to go get Mexican food or something like that. Like, I got more comfortable, I gave him my real number, I let him pick me up from school, still not anywhere close to my dorm building. I ended up having to go to the emergency room, paid for it. Um, he would, like, Postmates me food sometimes, and just, like, take me out, and sometimes we'd just go drive around and listen to music, and he was, had an awful music taste. It was horrible, but I also thought it was really funny. Um, and the best part was, is never had sex with him. Never did anything. He was perfectly content with just being like around me. I probably made like two or $3,000 over the course of maybe a month. So mine and I were just talking about the messages she was receiving and one of them was asking like, telling her explic explicitly what he wanted, like companionship and sex. Obviously we're oh, looking yeah. to meet up only. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about be. investing in a couple of covert cameras that we can hide in plain sight. Uh, maybe the one, maybe a you know wide angle one we can even have on view uh, or something. Because uh, apparently I did some research and they're fairly cheap to come by, which surprises me. So we can try that option as well so that we, we won't, they won't even know that we've even been there. My first encounter was with um, someone when I was 15. I had met them through Grindr, and Grindr is like a popular like gay meeting hookup app. When I was on there is when I was first approached with a kind of sugar baby, sugar daddy kind of relationship. And me and Jason were kind of on and off for the next two years, I would say, two and a half, because at, th at this point, like, I knew that I didn't want anything to do with him like romantically, like a relationship. He was always interested in like us still having a sexual relationship and he would buy me whatever like I wanted and things like that. We're still talking like today um, and I'm probably gonna hang out with him this weekend because I gotta pay rent and I gotta pay my insurance and my phone bill and I gotta pay for my drag costumes. But yeah, I'm being more active in making sure even though we've like more strictly defined kind of things that he gets what he needs so that I can get what I need. Look, Sugar Babies beat student debt. Over 4 million students worldwide registered seeking arrangements. Successful arrangement can receive monthly allowances, professional and social opportunities. Friday. We're kind of on call. We're just yeah. on call. To Pretty much, yeah. We're kind of like just waiting on him whenever he's ready. To and why can't we meet with anybody else? Because no one else is responding. No one else will respond if it's not for sex. So it, um, if, because they kind of get to the point, they'll say, 
you know, what are you interested in? What kind of arrangement are you looking for? And I'll, you know, say, you know, nothing physical. A lot of them will say, I don't want to waste my time. Are you interested in friends with benefits? Are you interested in like, and some of them will be specific, like what they want. The guy that we're looking at now, you said that he had changed some he of changed his- He changed his profile. Yeah, and I didn't screenshot it, and I should have before. But before he was not married, it said that he was single. Now he's changed it to married but looking. And then um, he was only interested in companionship and coffee or dinners is what he had listed. It doesn't say that anymore. Mm -hmm. It said um, no strings attached. In like June of 2017, so I was 16 at the time. Uh, this guy who I wasn't following messaged me on Tumblr and he was basically just like, would you consider having a sugar daddy? And he was like, basically, I'd give you a weekly allowance for like nudes, lingerie pics, like bikini pics and like videos. And I was like, so it's all online. I don't have to meet up with anyone. So I figure like, that's fine. I'm already probably doing that for other people. So <laughs> I was like, yeah. So the second person you were sending um, nudes to, um, you said you knew them. How did y'all meet? They work for my parents. It started as like flirting and then we were like at each other on Snapchat and then it was like happening. But I think he felt bad because he works for my parents and he like felt like he needed to give me something. It... But I was like, yeah, I'm not going to turn down money <laughs> if you're offering. <laughs> Do you have feelings for him or is it just yeah, a sexual? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> Does he know that? Yes. How how old are they? 24. We met when I was so young. So the fact that like it started before I was like of age is like creepy to me. A little bit, but I also have, like, daddy issues, so I get over it quick. And then the fact that it's always only ever been about my body. Like, he started taking me to the gym when I was young. Which I think, like, I feel like there's a correlation there. Like, he wanted to see my body, like... And then it's still just my body. It's, like, we've done stuff in person um on like only two occasions but it's still just my body and he said straight up like I'm using you for your body and I was like oh it's like I knew it and I was just lying to myself the whole time but deep, deep down like I knew oh he's bubbling he's bubbling hang on oh don't look at it <sighs> Just coffee today. I already have plans to go eat with my family later. His tone has changed, okay? Oh. oh my God. <laughs> no, I totally get why you're nervous. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Lyra, nice to meet you. So quiet. I know. I didn't think it was going to be this quiet. I've never wanted any woman to ever think that I'm being. Uh, inappropriate. Did he explicitly say like? He was real careful. He he said he said I'm you know I want to be really careful because of the society that we live in today. My question to you is if. It stays the way it is now, and you know, we're just hanging out, having coffee, going out to dinner, fishing, whatever. What is the rate for that, and what is the rate for anything further? The terms of our agreement, they're up to me. But if I wanted to take it further, he's okay with that. And that he would be fair financially um, with that. Just throw it. I have no idea. This is what it is, but let's just throw out 20 
job you ever had. He tried to pay me for that thing for today. And he said, you know, I brought you money, you know, 30, 40 bucks, give it to you. I just, you know, want to go outside, give it to you. You know, I don't want to keep you on the table. You don't have to do that. No, 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 not today. Some guys will watch you. Leave. Follow you and they'll check your license plates. They have ways of running your license plate. Mm -hmm. know everything there is nobody. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's true. I freaked out when he said that. So like, that's what? why you went out the other... Yes, okay. because I thought Marcella was back there. So I was like, we need to find out what car he's in so we know he's not following us. Would you do any of this again? No. No. Not at this point. Having a sugar daddy, it's great. I don't feel comfortable doing that anymore because that's not who I am. I'm not trying to get money from people like that. In the future, probably. I mean, if I need to. I don't know. Girls gotta pay for college. There's always like, like the offer still stands and like the sugar will always be there if, if, if you want it. And would I be a sugar baby again? Yes. There's nothing wrong with talking to these men, going on dates with them, having sex with them. Whatever you feel comfortable with is whatever you want to do because it's nobody else's business.